Hey guys, welcome back to Oak and Iron. Today we're going to be making some pizza with my special guest. So we're going to start making the dough first. The first thing you want to get in there is two and a quarter cups of flour, half a packet of yeast, some sugar, and salt. And then you're just going to whisk that together The next thing we're going to add is the wet ingredients, which will start forming the dough. Some olive oil. And then the last thing we're going to add is some lukewarm water, which I have in this thermos here. And then mix it all up. You want to mix it until it looks about like this and you can get a smooth ball formed. Then you just want to brush it lightly with olive oil and let it sit. And now we're just going to cover it and let it sit for a little bit. So while we wait on the dough, we're going to go pick some tomatoes from the garden and start the sauce. Now while the dough sits, we're going to start the sauce. So I just got some tomatoes here from the garden and I'm going to slice them and then mash them in the mortar and pestle and add some spices and we'll get it going.
just going to let the onion and garlic cook down a bit and then we'll add the tomatoes and spices to go along with it. We're going to add some spices to the tomato mixture now. Just some oregano, parsley, salt, and pepper. And then just combine it. You don't want to cut up the basil too much because then all the flavor will come out of it. So you just want to keep it about this size. The onion and garlic cooked down pretty well, so we're going to add the tomatoes now. I just want to let this cook down so it thickens and the flavors combine. One thing you want to add to pizza sauce is sugar because it battles the acidity of the tomatoes um, and it makes it really sweet, which is good. The last thing you want to add to the sauce is the basil because it's so delicate. dough has risen nicely and we will roll it out now. So there we have our pizza dough. Now that the dough is done, we're gonna get the toppings together. I'm just gonna start with some tomatoes. Now I'm gonna cut up some roasted red pepper. Now we have some fresh whole mozzarella that we're going to cut up. This is our last topping. Now we don't have any parchment paper to transfer the pizza onto the Dutch oven once it's already made, so I'm going to build everything inside the Dutch oven. So I lightly oiled the dough and I'm going to put that in first. It's been about 10 to 15 minutes and it looks good, so we'll take it out.
<laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mm. Mm. The bottom cooked perfectly. A bit crunchy, but not too crunchy. Perfect. That's actually delicious. I know. <laughs> it's so good.